it just it just couldn't have come at a better time. Like Angela Davis wearing a shirt from Buffy's Beauty Supply is just like oh. Yeah, it's funny cuz you know, my dad was like like why are you why did you call it Buffy's Beauty Supply? This, this there's no beauty supply. And I was like, well, dad <laughs> and everyone. So I called it Buffy's Beauty Supply because of my obsession with beauty supply stores and also entrepreneurship. Being a black woman who loves and frequents beauty supply stores, it's also a take on ownership because a lot of black people that help make beauty supply stores so much money don't have any ownership. It's dope to be a part of a small team that's so inspired. There's so much room to be innovative and to do kind of whatever you want within this umbrella of BBS, which is really a company and a group of people that have the same vigor for putting blackness where and black culture and black creativity, black style in this um, shining more light on it, basically. When Beth and I talked about what she envisioned for Buffy's Beauty Supply, what really attracted me was the idea of being able to give back. Both of us come from a film background, so our references are drawn from everywhere, idea-wise, because we both speak that language. You know, we reference films as like, we want this feeling or this look, but then we kind of like, twist it up and kind of like push it through our lens and then you know Beth and I both have very distinctive points of view and sometimes the best thing is when they come together. My experience working in fashion streetwear, the music industry, I just noticed how black people just never had any ownership over their own culture. So I was just like trying to not just make, create my own business, but I feel the need to teach and share with other people how they can grow their own businesses. We were brainstorming and we wanted to take on a few artists and we thought it really be dope to focus on like women entrepreneurs. So we found these 11 different women-owned brands. Some are fashion, some are beauty, some are jewelry. Yes, it's really hard to, to see women of color's brands and, and, and to know about them. You know, it's really hard to get exposure. It's like you, you have to be brought out like how rappers do. It's like they have the crew and like everybody slowly comes out with their own album, you know? It's like, that's how we need to promote each other. And I'm kind of using that model.